Hey, this is Mirgloff Builds, and in today's video, I'm going to be uh, building a monument to one of my subscribers. That subscriber being uh, Mr. Matthew 269. It's going to build a monument for him, and I'm going to build that uh, monument a bit ways over there. Uh, there's a desert well there, and I'm going to use that as part of the structure, simply because desert whales are wells, not whales. Desert wells are fairly uncommon, actually rare, I would say. And oh, there it is. And so it seems fitting to uh, incorporate something that rarely occurs, much less the only one to exist so far in uh, this world as part of a uh, subscriber monument. And at the end of the video, of course, as always, I'll talk about uh, off-camera work and other uh, stuff regarding the series. But for now, we're going to start building the monument.
tonight, the uh, monument to my subscriber, Mr. Matthew269, is complete. And it's called Fountain of Matthew. Uh, much like the uh, historical marker of uh, Greenstone, I forgot what it's called. Hold on just a second as so I check that. The Greenstone Marker uh, Monument Subscriber Monument for uh, 3V4D35. Uh, so a lot similar to uh, that monument being sort of uh, the role it played within the whole story of the world was that uh, it was the spot where the town founding site was first found and the founders of the town of Greenstone decided to build in that area. This uh, spot here, this desert well, uh, marks the spot where... Uh, the founder of the, uh, the leader of the Sand Nation, whose name would be Matthew, uh, spawned here with the first few people, group of people who would be some of the founding members of the Sand Nation, here at the capital of the Sand Nation, uh, Thelonia. It's getting dark, but I'm on peaceful, so I won't have any troubles. And a lot of half stone blocks used here, and as well as sort of a, uh, a fountain river stream thing going on through here. I also used a similar, uh, kind of a similar triangle thing from the uh, the blacksmith over there, but uh, I kept it distinctly different, I think. But I did like how those arches before turned out. I thought it would work really well to sort of match the somewhat pyramid-like shape of the uh, the desert well. And it looks really nice from a distance too, which is always kind of a, a goal of mine, to have things look nice from afar. But I think it looks nice as well up close. And as far as off-camera work goes, I've obviously been continuously collecting reeds. As soon as I'm finished with this video, I'm going to be going back to doing that. But I also uh, dug this big hole here in preparation for uh, what's probably going to be the next video. I'm planning on building a uh, monster arena here as a... Uh, a big uh, key trait about the Sand Nation and the Sand People is that they're very militaristic because their survival depends upon their skills as a warrior race, and to do, they need constant practice. So one of the things that uh, the more prominent towns and cities of the Sand Nation would have are... Uh, arenas or like gyms in the city of Thelonia would have both a gym and a city. I mean a, a gym and a arena, a monster arena. Basically there's going to be a upper level gym sort of kind of thing to practice archery and stuff. But this basement level, well, I'll save that for actually that video. I've, I shouldn't really ramble too much on about that. But uh, as far as other off-camera stuff, I don't think I've done anything else so f between this video and uh, the last video. But uh, again, I would like to mention that uh, New Ted Trance made a uh, fan page. I'll be leaving a link there. And uh, someone, I, I don't think he's subscribed yet, but uh, someone has been uh, going through and watching all of my videos. His name is... 